Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics and in this video I'm going to explain what resistance is in electrical components and it has something to do this, with this wall and with this meme so uh, stay tuned to see what it has to do with that. So resistance, uh, everything uh, which uh, uses electricity has a resistance to electricity. So if we look at this microwave, this microwave has a power of 1000 watts, uh, it uses a voltage of 110 volts and a current of 9.1 ampere. And if we look at this light bulb, it has only 45 watts, so it's a lot less, so it needs a lot less energy. Also, it's using 110 volts, so the same as the microwave, because they're same, both using the power socket. Um, and to make this uh, power less, it only needs 0.41 ampere. So as you can see, uh, if they use both the same power source of 110 volts, then they uh, use different amounts of current. This one uses 9.8 because it needs a lot of energy, and this one only 0.41 because it doesn't need that much energy. And if it will get that much energy, it will probably break. So the amount of ampere they are using uh, has to do with their resistance. They both have a resistance to the ampere, uh, and to calculate that resistance, we need this equation. So we have the resistance with a capital R, uh, which is measured in ohm, or with a capital omega, and we have the voltage, which is U or V, uh, is in volts. And we have the current, the electrical current in ampere. So if we divide the voltage by the ampere, then we know the resistance of an electrical component. Uh, sometimes you have to calculate something else with it. So we, uh, I use this trick, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So if we have to calculate the I here, that's the 3, so 6 divided by 2. So we can swap these two, so we can swap these two here, and that's what we did. And if we have to calculate the u, so the 6, then we have to do 2 times 3, so r times e, and it looks like this. So usually you get this one, uh, sometimes you get another one, but you have to re be able to rebuild it to the other one, and uh, I use this trick for it. So now if we look at this microwave, we can calculate its resistance. So the, uh, you can try it now for yourself to calculate the resistance, I will show you now how because we need to uh, use this equation and we have the voltage, we have the electrical current, so we put it in the equation and we know that the resistance is 12.1 ohm. Don't forget to put the sign there, that's a unit and you always have to answer with units. So I put it there. And now if we look at the lamp, we can calculate the resistance of the lamp with the same equation but now with different data. So now we have, uh, instead of uh, 9.1, uh, we have 0.41, so it will look like this. And you see that the resistance is a lot higher. So the lamp has a high resistance of 268.3 ohm, and the microwave has a lot lower resistance. So if the ampere wants to go through the microwave, it will not be resisted that much, so it will flow uh, easier, so the, therefore the ampere, the current, is higher. This one has a very high resistance, so the current goes down. They cannot go uh, that easily through the lamp. And it's good because if they would flow too easy to the lamp, then the lamp will get too much energy and it will probably break. Other way around, if they will not flow fast enough through the microwave, then the microwave will not have enough energy to work. So that's why the resistance needs to be low. So usually when the power is high, the resistance is low. Or the other way around, when the power is low, the resistance is high. Um, to Visualize that. If you have a high resistance, you can visualize it by a high wall. The current, I usually uh, use uh, uh, ampere or apes, uh, goes down when, down when the resistance is high. So if you imagine that the, ape, the apes, the amps, they have to go over this wall. And if it's a high wall, so a high resistance, that will take them a lot of energy and it will slow down, them down. So if there's a high resistance, the apes are being slowed down, so the amperes go down. Uh, and it costs more energy to pass the resistance. They actually will lose some of their faults to pass the resistance. So remember, a high resistance, you have to visualize it as a high wall, and the amperes have trouble going over the wall, so they will go down. Other way around, if you have a low resistance, then you have a low wall. So the amperes go up. It will be fairly easy for them to go over the wall, and uh, so they can just jump over the wall fairly easy. So it costs less energy to pass the resistance if it's a low resistance. And that has something so to do with the electrical components. So if it needs a lot of energy, the resistance will be very low so that the amperes can go pass through it fairly easy. Uh, also shown by this meme, so we have here uh, three yeah, things, three units. Um, one of them here is uh, blocking this one, and that's the resistance. So the resistance is blocking this one, and it's blocking the current. And the one trying to get the current through is the voltage. So the higher the voltage, the better the uh, current will go through. 
But if the resistance will be uh, even bigger, then the current will have troubles. And if the resistance will be very, very low, so it will be easy to go through, then the current will have no trouble going through here. So this is why uh, this meme is nice to visualize it. An example, a computer has a resistance of 60 ohm. Calculate the current when you connect it the computer to a wall socket of 110 volts. So try it for yourself if you now can calculate the current going through the computer. We know the resistance, it's 60 ohm. We know the voltage, which is 110 volt, and we have to calculate the current, so the I. This is the equation we standardly use. Uh, we have to uh, rebuild it, so I use this one. Uh, we have to calculate the three, so we can swap the two and the three, just like the R and the I, so it will look like this. Now we can put our data in, so 110 divided by 60, and that's 1.8 ampere. So this computer is having uh, a current of 1.8 ampere, and then it will work correctly. Of course, you can also calculate the power now, because if you know the voltage and the ampere, then you can uh, multiply them and you will know the power of the computer. But that was a different video. But it's sometimes something you have to also now be able to do. And the next example. This is a difficult one because now you will need the uh, equation for power. Uh, your smartphone has an average power of 0.48 watts. The battery has a voltage of 4.0 volt. Calculate the resistance of the smartphone. This is a, a difficult one. You can try it for yourself if you will not be able to uh, make it. I will now give you the answer. So we have the power given here. We have the voltage given here. And the question is to calculate the resistance. So we need to calculate the R and therefore we need this equation. But the problem is we have the voltage, but we don't have the current. So we don't have the intensity of the electrical uh, current. So we also we need to uh, calculate that one first. And we can do that by this equation. Because here is also the I. The U is already given and we have the power here. So with this equation, we can calculate the electrical current. And if we have that, we can calculate with this equation the uh, resistance. So first we have to rebuild it. Uh, I use this one. 6 is 2 times 3. We have to get the 3 because that's the I. So 6 divided by 2. So P divided by U. It looks like this. We have the P. It's in the correct unit. We have the U in the correct unit, so we divide them. And we now know that the current through the mobile phone is 0.12 ampere. So we put it here, 0.12 ampere. And now we can calculate resistance, because now we have the voltage, we have the current, and we can just put it in. And the resistance is 33 ohms. So this is a difficult one, and you actually need two diff different equations for this. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.